What should we expect to see on Tuesday exactly? <laughs> That's a great question, George. Um, I, you know, this is unprecedented. I don't know. I've done a million arraignments in that courthouse um, with, with celebrities and whatnot, but this is a whole different thing. Um, we have Secret Service involved. Um, I understand that closing the courthouse for the afternoon. Um, I, I just don't know what to expect to see. Hopefully, what I, uh, what I hope is that we get in and out of there as quickly as possible, that it's, uh, at the end of the day, a typical arraignment where we stand before the judge, we say not guilty, we set schedules to file motions and whatnot or discovery, and we move forward and, and, and get out of there. Will there be a perp walk? You said you've done many of these before. Most of them do have perp walks. Not really, not in a case like this. Um, but, you know, look, I anticipate them trying to get every ounce of publicity out of this uh, that, they think, that they can get. Um, you know, I don't know if that's going to happen again. Secret Service is yeah. involved. Um, so well, hopefully this will be as, as painless and classy as possible for a situation like this, which I don't even know really what brings us here. But that's a different story. Some will, will President Trump hold a press conference on Tuesday following the arraignment? I, George, honestly, I can't answer that question. I don't know what the president's plans are. Um, will, we, will he have to take a mugshot? Again, Dana, you're asking me questions know. that I just, this okay. is not normal operating procedure. Yeah, it's all up in the air. All the, all the Tuesday stuff is still very much up in the air, Got other it. than the fact that we will very loudly and proudly say not guilty. Are you going to move to dismiss the case right off the bat in the arra arraignment? And if so, on what grounds? No, not, we're not doing anything at the arraignment because that would be showmanship and nothing more because we haven't even seen the indictment yet. Um, you know, we will take the indictment. We will dissect it. Um, the team will look at every every um, potential issue that we, we will be able to challenge, and we will challenge enough. What we're guessing the indictment will look like is that it will have legal frailties that will be subjected to a very legitimate motion to dismiss early on. The president has had quite a bit to say, including this post from Friday. I'll read in part talking about the judge overseeing this case. He says, <clears throat> the judge assigned to my witch hunt case, a case that has never been charged before, hates me. I'm an attorney. If uh, my client posted that and was facing that judge, wouldn't make my job any easier. Does it worry you? Well, look, the president's a big believer in free speech, as you know. He's got strong opinions. I think he's very frustrated. Is that your team's official legal position? Do you believe the judge is biased? No, I don't believe the judge is biased. I mean, the president's entitled to his own opinion. But if you don't believe, the, believe the, the, judge the judge is biased, biased no. why is the president saying so? I'm, you're interviewing me, George, right? I, I'm, but you're I'm his not attorney. Speaking for anyone else except me. Yeah, I'm, but I'm his attorney, but I'm myself. I, I, I don't, I'm not his PR person. I'm not his spokesperson. He's entitled to his own opinion. My response is absolutely not. Are you going to ask for a different judge? We are going to take the indictment, evaluate all our legal options, and pursue everyone most vigorously. Would you put President Trump on the stand? I've got to imagine he's going to want to get up there and defend himself. Well, yeah, we're, we're light years away from that, and, and hopefully it's an academic question, frankly.